it's Colin again. Here's a slight revision to the previous video and something that's just going to make life a little bit easier. Uh, in addition to that, um, something else that I wanted to tell you about. Um, so, uh, with regards to mixing the content up, so it's not all the same going out all the same time. So I found another BuzzFeed article. Okay, we've got this one here, which is 23 low-carb lunches that will actually fill you up. Let's go to our site. Okay, and we're going to create a new post. Da, 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 da. <clears throat> going to change over that title somewhat. Um, let's just copy that for the time being. Ba, ba, da, ba, da, da, da. That will not leave you feeling hungry there we go so that will not leave you feeling hungry boom open graph settings as before okay that will not leave you feeling hungry <coughs> launches up tuck in <coughs> 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 Excuse me. One of the things I forgot to do in the previous uh, video is obviously you will need to select an image for the OpenGraph settings and you will need to select a feature image. So choose choose the most attractive looking image out of the bunch. Okay. Anyway, let's go back to our content sourcing. So we're going to take going to come back down here da, 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 da. and we're going to use this BLT spring rolls okay literally copying it over as we did before okay but this time when we save the image we're going to save it as BLT spring rolls So this is quite an important step because the it means that it's <clears throat> when we share the button, share it over, it's actually going to pull this metadata in order to in order to share it. Okay, BLT spring rolls. Okay, and let's just put a little bit here. So, going to add the image. BLT spring rolls. Boom. Insert that into the post, full size, boom, K. Okay. We're going to add that. Okay, just going to put it into heading number six. And we're going to change it down to change the color. Okay, then we're going to put our little blurb, so we're on the paragraph. These low carb BLT spring rolls are addictive. Trust us. Grab the recipe here grab the recipe here okay I'm going to get that URL take it copy come back gonna hyperlink it by hitting the anchor button or the paperclip it looks okay brilliant lovely 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 okay and then we're gonna add in space add in that page break Okay, and then we're going to go to article number two. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, 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 uh. So here we go. Just copy that. Sorry, copy the whole thing because that's going to be the title for the next gallery. Mm -mm -mm. To the post. To the next uh, article. Okay, and let's save that image up. Put it in there. Let's get rid of the number. I'm gonna save it. Boom. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Okay. 
let's insert that image. Now we're going to let's upload. Ah. Prosciutto. The only issue you're going to have with this, Lani, is you're going to get hungry. Um, I've been looking at food all day. Um, and I am very, very, very hungry. I've just managed to put the wrong image in, but there we go. We've got it there. Boom. So following as before, taking this from a great site called Nom Nom Paleo. Um, I don't know whether you've heard of the paleo diet. It's something I've been doing recently. It's good, good clean living. So I'm going to put it into italics. We're going to put it down to heading number six. And we're going to grayscale it. Okay, we love Nom Nom Paleo. We love Nom Nom Paleo. And this recipe from their site is no exception. Perfect for a hot summer's day and healthy to boot. Click here to grab the recipe. And as you can see, I still can't spell recipe. Okay, so we're gonna get the link that it's going to. Right, okay, so we've got the link. Gonna hyperlink it up as before. Okay, now I'm going to, so like I said to you before, uh, just to reconfirm, going to use the selected, pick a particular image, that will be good uh, to use. Come on, we'll go with that one, that's a good one, looks nice and colourful. Okay, and obviously for the open graph settings as well, you need to do that. Obviously, this is going to be done at the end of each article. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's go for our media library. And we'll add in the same image as before. Show. Let's work in full size insert into post. Beautiful. Okay, so open graph settings are all filled in. Featured images there. Um, and we'll publish. Okay, we're going to view the published post. Beautiful. So we have BLT Spring Rolls complete with our link and our blurb and the recipe. We've got the nice photo credit down there. OK, now. This time when we share, let's go to the second page. This time when we share, OK, or hovering over here. What I will actually do is it will. Populate with our description 23 low 23 low carb lunches that will not leave you feeling hungry um okay let's not use that share button let's try this one so let me just change one of the settings around. Okay, for the time for the time being, don't worry about that so much. Just take the link. Okay, once you've done it, take the link. This is going to be the easiest way to do this, I think, Lani. Take the link. Okay, find our board again. Okay, cooking likes, it's a healthy board. Okay, add a pin, 
from the web. Do this. Next. Okay, then it's going to share, share that second image, which is what we wanted to do. And this is what I was saying about choose the correct image. Uh, uh, it's that one. Put it into pin it to cooking light, and here we're just gonna add the description. So prosciutto wrapped. What was it? Wrapped peaches or something? Peaches. Mm. I can't spell prosciutto today. And boom. So this is in for cooking light. Let's see that pin that we just put in. Okay, let's just go to that board. Now, this is, so when you've got say four or five of these long list articles done and all complete, obviously you don't want to have 19 potato salads in a row. So you can move the pins and you can move them. Pick pins to move or copy. Okay, uh, we're going to move it to, oh, how do you do that? Move. No, we don't want to do that. Okay. Now, it wasn't working how I anticipated. So, what you will need to do move. Let me just try one more time. Pin selected, move. We're going to put in cooking light. That's where we want it to go. There we go. There. So by moving it, we're a by adding it back to so if we say so we wanted to get that one, the other side of this one, Okay, just to, just to move it up, we're literally going to press move pins. Okay, put that, and then we're going to move it to the same board. Okay, and then it's going to change the order for us. Okay, so I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to move it so we do have this variety. Move pins, this one. Move. Add to the same board accordingly. Fantastic. Look, and then we're going to have a little bit of variety going on, which is going to be gorgeous. It's going to be fantastic. Excellent. Um, that's it for the time being. Thank you very much. And I will get back to you in another video. Cheers.